cigar box guitar lesson. It's Hoochie Coochie Man by the Great Muddy Waters. This is a four string cigar box guitar that I made many years ago. And I have a buddy here in town who is a tattoo artist. And he put all that tattoo art right in there. That was all just plain white. And I dug this out of my stash of guitars back in the back of the house. Hadn't played it in a while. Put some new strings on it actually put some slightly heavier gauge strings on it and i've got the capo up here on the second fret it's tuned to open g but the capo brings it to a so we are in the key of a so let's get started on this masterpiece of a blues song so we're going to start out with your first finger on the fourth string on the third fret and we're going to walk up two frets above that and two frets above that with your second finger and your pinky so we're going to start out with your first finger on the third fret and we're going to walk up and back down so you walk up two frets with your second finger two more frets up and back down for the song. What is that? Third string on the one, two, third fret. Capos always throw me off. So that's an A7, which is a very common transitional chord to the four chord in the key of A, which would be D, and I chose to do a D7 here. So I've got my first finger on one, one, and my second finger is going to be on three, two. You can toggle your first finger or pink you can toggle your pinky on the first string third fret so that transition one more time so again first finger is on one one and your second finger is going to be on three two Pinky is going to be on two, three. All right, from the top. I won't do all eight. So that's your D7. Your D7. D is the four chord in the key of A, and we're going to make it a seventh. Toggling my pinky on and off, you don't have to, but it's kind of cool. So I do a little bit of an improv to go back to that one chord, which would be A, after I do that part. So I'll just kind of make it up as I go. Here's the four chord again. a lot of stuff there but basically it's just a straightforward one four five blues i'm adding a couple extra well more than a couple extra notes just to keep it moving right so when i go to that four chord there's the four chord one more time first finger is on one one and your second finger what is that three two <laughs> and i toggle that pinky i'm not using my third finger at all I'm toggling the pinky on the second string third fret. When I go back to the one, I do sort of a guitar solo. I'm playing really 
the five, the three, and the zero on all the strings. So I'm kind of going any kind of variation thereof. Just a whole bunch of options there. That's the box right there. And don't forget, you can throw in your in-between notes. All right, so one more time. Four chord. Now I'm up to five chord and I'm just barring all the way across. So that's on the, what is that? Seventh fret. down two, you get the idea here. You've heard all these blues progressions a million times. And I'm kind of doing a shuffle there. Just a two-finger shuffle. So, now that you're thoroughly confused, let's go back to the top. And we'll shorten it. Four chord. The third finger, first string, third fret, and first finger, second string, second fret. I love that shape, it's really cool. Now we go back to the main part. Second verse. like it is but that third finger likes to move wherever the pinky goes they're good buddies i suppose <laughs> the whole thing it does that whole thing four times so let me show you a little bit of what I did there so when I'm on that one chord which is a you've got some open strings you can take advantage of two frets above that. That's pretty easy. Nice easy scale. First finger and third finger. It's one of my favorites. So I'm doing a walk down. I'm using my thumb on the third string, and I've got my, what is that, second finger on the first string, and my first finger on the second string. As you walk up to the five. Super common. Here's a little trick when I do that walk down. I go. So watch this hand. It pauses as I slide down. So I go. And 
And that's the fifth fret, sixth, and seventh. That takes us up to the five chord, which is E in the key of A. And that's the whole thing. subscribe if you haven't already check out the website jagshouse.com cigar box guitars just like this one since 2004 please subscribe i think i already said that but if i didn't please subscribe wait i already said that but if i didn't please subscribe and send me a note if you want to hear certain songs or certain styles or certain tunings or a different kind of music or classical or something like that which i don't know anything about we'll see you next time